Welcome to the shop, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be installing these pulleys here onto that 454, and we're also gonna be having to make a spacer to space the water pump pulley out a little bit so that it'll align with the bottom pulley a little bit better. So here's some of the alignment issues that I'm having. Uh, one thing that the top pulley itself is actually rubbing the water pump itself. And then to space it out where it lines up better with the belt itself, I found about a 70 thousandths washer spaces it out correctly. So let's take a look at it. All right, so if I'm needing some pretty decent dimensions to hit these holes pretty accurately in this part here, what I'll do is take you off this a little bit. We can get a little bit closer. So a lot of times, or most of the time, what I'll do is I'll measure the holes themselves. So that hole there in that pulley was 0.3 five seven thousandths and then the main hole in the pulley was six hundred and thirty six thousandths and what I'll do there is I'll take those numbers there and I'll divide them in half so I know what the half of that hole size is for both of those right so then what I'll do is I'll take the calipers and I'll measure in between the holes actually from this point to this point all right so when I measured that you know we have 385 thousandths then I add the 178.5 thousandths and then the 318 thousandths and that gives me a total distance between there of 8815 all right and then just sort of to make sure I didn't do a number wrong or something like that I'll actually take my calipers and that's just about it's about a half a thousandth off something like that and then I'll just actually lay it on the part sort of in the center and see if that dimension makes sense so now I'm pretty sure when I set up my mill with the DRO over there I'll set I'll set everything on zero and then I'll move it out to these dimensions here, well not there, but anyways, that dimension right there, and then I know that's where I wanna drill my holes. All right, and then we also know by, is it this washer here, that about a 70 thousandths thickness is what we're going for. All right, we got the piece of stock uh, chucked up to the lathe. Uh, I'm going to drill a 5 8 hole through the center of it. So here we go. So since the piece, when I cut it down to 70 thousandths thick, is gonna be pretty flimsy, I decided to go ahead and drill the holes in it now. So what I did is I put it in my bridge port and I trammed in the center circle to make it the center of the, uh, so when you look at my DRO, it's also set on zero. So now I can put those coordinates in and drill those holes.
Okay, let's do a little test fit here before we do the last part of the machining. Okay, we got it all set up for the lathe, ready to make the last cut to make that shim. Okay, we got the piece machined out for our little spacer there. We got the pulley installed. Looks like we got clearance in between the water pump. You can't hardly see it, but yeah, there's clearance there. It doesn't rub anymore. And the actual belt alignment on the pulley looks dead on. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like, subscribe if you'd like to, and we hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks so much. Oh, almost forgot the last part.